New at 6, a family in Janesville wants to say thank you to two strangers who helped their son after a biking accident. NBC 15's Sharon Yu shows us what happened and how the boy got to be on his bike again. It was like any other ordinary day, Justin and Ryan out on their bikes cruising around town until Justin saw a challenge. I saw this hill and the bridge and I wanted to go down. As any 11 year old boy would do, down he went without expecting his sandal to get stuck in the spokes. On this hill off of Afton Road is where Justin fell off his bike and into the road. And that was when the two women came by, blocked traffic and helped out by calling his parents. I asked him, you know, were there any adults around you? Can I speak to an adult? And there was a woman there. She had told me where their exact location was on the bridge over Apton. So, I mean, I knew right away because we go to Peace Park all the time. Justin doesn't remember much. I remember laying on the ground and I saw a van and a cop car. And after that, I couldn't see her here. So his family is asking for your help to identify the two women who were so caring. I just would like to... Thank the ladies involved, the ladies that helped Justin, the ladies who blocked traffic. I mean, they didn't have to. Most people turned around. From what I saw, there were already people turning around. They also wanted to extend their thank yous to Anne Marie and Brian Reese of Bike Elves, who came over and fixed Justin's totaled bike free of charge. One of the major things to fix was the derailleur on the back wheel. It was bent, and that was due to his flip flop getting caught in the chain. Uh, other things that were messed up was the seat. Just realigning everything, basically. Luckily, the frame wasn't bent. But thanks to the help of the community, Justin says he will be hitting the road again on his bikes. Thank you for everything and fixing my bike for free. <laughs> In Janesville, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. And if you have any idea who helped out Justin on July 26th, you can reach out to us through Facebook so we can share it with Justin's family. Justin's stepdad says one of the women was driving a gray van.